Don't watch me. Watch Nolazine TV. Yeah, it's only one lacrosse. You already know what it is. I'm with your boy Nolazine TV, and we're finna go crazy. Hey, we're gonna first start it off um, by I'm um, like congratulating you um, for actually I'm um, like signing with I'm um, like Cash Money Records. Appreciate you, my brother. Appreciate. So you know, like being you know, it just being around Cash Money. I'm um, like for like probably like the past year now. Yes, sir. And so how has your I'm um, like experience been like? Shit, it really probably been the most fun I ever had in my life so far. Like, cause I know eventually I'm about to get to that level to well, it's fun every day, but. So far, it's been the most fun I ever had in my life. It's been a real eye opener, you feel me? To see what's going on in that side of life. You feel me? It's, it's all about you the experience. Paint that picture for the fans, you know? Yeah, you definitely get to paint that picture. It's, it's, it's about the experience, though, and having the fun and enjoying the moments, you feel me? Shit don't last forever, so, yeah. Right. That's facts. So, you know, like, it was just being here in Miami, like, how it is, like, like moving here, I'm like from New Orleans. Nah, this shit a vibe, bro. This shit a vibe, and I ain't even gonna cap. Like, I've been pretty much everywhere so far, like all around the world. Miami really got the baddest bitches ever. You hear me, bro? Like, everywhere I ever been, like Miami got the most hoes ever. Like, prettiest, finest, funnest, everything. You hear me? But I ain't gonna lie, you. I'm like a lot of them be fake, though. They be on. If a lot of them, it for a lot of like a lot of women be kind of built too. No, no. They be having like no fake. Cap. It had fake lips, hey, fake hey, booty, hey, and I fake foreskin. You ain't tripping out. If it fit the part, if it fit the part, I'm the player. You hear me? If it fit the part, you the player? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, you know, like being a music artist, I'm like, tell us, I'm like, what separates you, I'm like, from other artists? Shit, I really feel like I'm so versatile. Like, I know they got a lot of different people out here that's real versatile, but my versatility speaks for itself. Like, I can go hop in anybody's lane and and me being who I am, I'm always me, you feel me? So it ain't like I'm ever doing too much. Like, I'm always going to be able to switch it up and still be me. You feel me? A lot of people really can't do that. But we're going to see. We're going to see for sure. Okay. Yeah. Hey, let's jump into this. Like, tell your fans something about you that you don't show on, like, on your social media. Shit. Really? I like that question. I like that question because I really don't do... I really... <sighs> Me and my me and my whole gang really be thugging for real. So like I don't be trying to post all that on the gram and I just try to show y'all the life, the best life that I could show y'all and the most fun that we be having, what we be doing on the bright side of life. You feel me? Cause ain't nothing that y'all wanna see in them trenches. That's not what I'm trying to show, that's not what I'm trying to do no more. I'm trying to make it out the hood. So showing all that shit, that shit lame to me, you feel me, bro. We got a whole nother side of life that we trying to live, so it's about, you know, experiencing this right now, you feel me? Showing y'all what I want to show y'all, having my fun. Like, y'all want to see a nigga turn. I don't want to see me when I'm down or, you feel me? Yeah. Yeah, we just be a whole lot of, you me? Thugging, yeah. We be tripping, we be tripping. Fuck, but, yeah. And hey, so what's the average day like for you? Fuck, I really, all right, so every day I like to wake up, roll up, roll up a nice backwood. I like to go walk the beach in the morning just to catch that vibe. I walk for like an hour straight just I still ain't cruising on the beach. It got to walk the beach, bro. I walk <laughs> like an hour straight on the beach every morning, roll up a backwood, come home, go eat breakfast. My condo serve breakfast every day, so I come back, eat breakfast, and then hit the studio at night. I'm in there 12 hours every day. That's, a, that's everyday life, you feel me? I go out to the club every occasion like if something going on and my boy no lazine pop out with me we gonna hit the club but other than that i really just be in work mode i be trying to it's all about the vibes i'm in miami so i'm trying to you know walk the beach and get that good feeling and you already have you know they were trying to got that you know they they before that i'm like miami look <laughs> <laughs> with nah, the curly hair nah, if you kind of look like i'm like shia labeouf no, indeed, man. No, indeed. I thought about the first one, not the, not not the new not, one. Not this one, not this one. Nah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, nah, bro. I'm the only one looking If you got your own look. You know that. I'm the only one looking If you got your own look, nah. Yeah, for real, for real. I got you. So, hey, so has there ever been one point in your music career I'm like, when you just wanted to give up? Most definitely, bro. Most definitely. I'm glad I didn't do it because I wouldn't be where I'm at right now, but I most definitely thought about giving up a few times. Like, there was some times where like 
I thought about school, you feel me? Like this shit, I ain't gonna, if I drop out of school trying to make music, I'm gonna look like a fool out here. There were times where I was trying to get to the money and this music wasn't making no money, so I'm like, man, I just gotta focus on getting my bread up. If the music meant to happen, it's gonna happen. And eventually, I just realized that this is what I'm meant to do, so there is no quitting, there is no stopping, there is no taking a break. This is what I wake up, breathe, and do every single day of my life. So if I want, if, if I want that to be my life forever, that's what I'm gonna make sure I do, you feel me? And that's how I go about my day, and that's how I go about my life. I really figured out how to make a, a way with this music shit to where I don't ever got to give up. And I encourage anybody who takes something serious, never give up. Because that's the only time that you're going to see that you know that that was the worst decision in your life. Don't ever give up. Okay. Also, do you have any I'm like brand new I'm like projects coming up? I got my new album coming out soon. I ain't going to give no dates just yet. But my new album coming out soon. And I have a new single coming out this month called Moonwalking. And, um, I feel like that, that, that new single is going to show you a lot about me and a lot about my new project coming. So stay tuned for that. Moonwalk, Moonwalk. coming soon. How yeah. you came up with that? Freestyling, bro. I ain't going to cap. A lot of, 90% of my music was freestyle, so. Hey, but like, what you, I'm like, moonwalking in the studio? No, I tried, though, bro. I ain't going <laughs> to cap. It worked out for you? I tried to moonwalk. It, it, it worked out for me, but everybody else was laughing, but it worked out <laughs> for me and my daughter, for sure. But that's really how it came about. Like, I was just. In the song I said, and I'd probably be moonwalking on marble floors, and I was in the studio recording with my daughter, and I was just thinking about, like, I don't want to be sitting here working forever. Like, I want to be sitting back with my feet up somewhere, moonwalking on marble floors, looking at my daughter just playing around, you feel me? And that's what a vibe came to my head to make me want to say that while I was freestyling, you feel me? That's what that came about, for sure. Okay. So, and so, like, moving all the way from New Orleans, I'm like, with your child, being signed to cash money, like, hey, like, how is that? Like, you know, like, to actually babysit your child, go to the studio, yeah. and just, like, balance all that. Sometimes, bro, I be feeling like it hasn't hit me yet. Because, like, at the end of the day, I'm still grinding right now. I'm still in 100% grind mode. I still, I'm still not satisfied with where I'm at, and I still don't feel like I, I met my maximum potential. So when I see my daughter growing up every day, it's like, I want to make sure that you don't ever have to grind. You're going to grind because it's in you, but you don't ever have to because daddy going to make sure you're straight. And I feel like that's my main goal right now. And everything else just hasn't hit me yet until I, until I see my daughter being as happy as I want her to be and doing everything that she knows that she wants to do because she don't know what she want to do right now. When she knows that she want to do something and she's able to do it, I'm going to feel satisfied with myself and be like, this is what I did it for, you feel me? So I'm just waiting on that moment to hit me right now, bro. I ain't going to lie. Waiting on that. Okay. I was speaking on family, you know. I'm like over this past week, but we just had one, you know. It went big. I'm the hurricane. It's actually, I'm like hit. I'm like New Orleans. Right. I'm like, do you want? I'm like chime, you know. It's like chime in on that about you know. Nah, I'm more definitely. I'm like, how your family feeling, your friends and everything like that. Nah, I'm more definitely. Even one of my close friends just lost his home due to Hurricane Ida, and like that shit hurt me, you know. I have, I have a crib in New Orleans too that it, it took a good bit of a hit, like you feel me? Like my shingles of course came off, I have posts in front of my house, my posts gone, you feel me? So like, I can't even complain, you feel me? Because at the end of the day, if, if I wanted to go home, I still have a roof over my head. I know plenty of people that don't have nowhere to go no more, you know, like that shit breaks my heart. So at the end of the day, if there's, if there's any way that I can help anyone, you know, just reach out to me, I'm, I'll be more than happy to help. I'm coming to New Orleans soon to be helping, you feel me? So I'm definitely going to chime in and be a part of the effect, you feel me? Because I'm sorry that happened to us, gang. I really am. Right. And the crazy part is, it would happen, I'm like 16 years I mean, later after Hurricane Katrina. After on Katrina. The same and I didn't believe that lightning could strike in the same place twice, but... I guess it did. History 16 just years repeated later. itself 16 years later. So, you know, expect the unexpected, but... I didn't think my city could take another hit like that, which is, that's what hurts me so bad, you feel me? But I know my city's one strong place, you feel me? So if anybody could shake back from something like that, I know for sure it's New Orleans, you feel me? We built for that, for sure. So growing up, I'm um, like on the West Bank of New Orleans, I want you to explain to the world, I'm like, what the um, like, difference is, I'm um, like from, you know, Orleans Parish yeah. and, and um, Jefferson Parish. Shit, it's really like, uh, uh, in my opinion, you feel what I'm saying? It's like two different worlds, honestly, in my opinion, because across when you 
go to the East Bank and the other side, like everything moving a lot quicker. It's like everything moves so much faster. Being on my side and Harvey and the West Bank, the Morero area, all that, it's like shit just slowed down a little bit. Money's not going as fast, you feel me? It's not, I feel like when it comes to the violence and shit, it's, it's the same everywhere, you know? It's just, it's poverty a lot. But when you, when you cross that bridge, it's like everything just speed up, you feel me? Everything just speed up. My hood is slow motion. We do the same shit we've been doing since I was born, last 20 years, you feel me? But when I'm on that other side, you know, just be on your P's and Q's because that shit moving fast around now. That's in my opinion, though, you feel me? I don't know how other people see it. I really try to stay in my section, you feel me? I come where I got to go when I need to, but, yeah, in my section, we just we just going with the flow for real. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, I'm so for one fan, I'm like, who has, well, I'm so for one fan, um, who has, I'm like, never heard of you or your music. Um, I want you to, um, like, explain, um, like, the genre of the music that you make. It's crazy that you ask that or tell me to say that, bro, because at the end of the day, really and truly, I really can't. Like, I don't feel like there's no genre for me yet. Like, when my album drops and different music drops, then y'all be able to say, all right, this is what you do. But, like, right now, bro, I, I, every song I do is different from the last. It's like, like snowflakes. Like, everyone you get will never be the same, you feel me? So, like, I want the fans to tell me what they like best from me, you feel me? So right now I'm just continuing to do everything because I, I feel like I'm the best at doing everything that comes to my mind, you feel me? I don't feel like I slack up. So when I do, I want my fans to be the judge of that and be like, that's not what you should be doing right now. You should be doing, you know, the pop or you should be doing just rap or whatever my fans feel like they're doing because I'm definitely looking forward to building and growing new fans, you feel me? Yeah. Thanks. Okay. So. <laughs> So, you know, um, but we asked you on like, this question um, like a few years back, but we're going to ask you it again. Like, if you could date anyone in the entertainment industry, who would it be? And also, um, like, tell us why. Oh. <laughs> Shit. You know, right now, if we have a, you know, right now, we got see, new they people got right all now. new people. Exactly. See, back in the gap, like, my, my biggest crush when I was a kid was Nicki Minaj forever, like, for the longest. But now it's like, you know, that's, that's out the door. i probably go with Mulatto right now, cause, like, who bad in the mulatto right now? Like mulatto, if you seeing this, hit me up in the DM, please. Only one lacrosse, just please bump me right now. Don't you want her? I want you, love. Oh. I want you. <laughs> I give it an eye on the yeah, camera. I, I want, want you, you, love. love. <laughs> so you gonna tell her? No, nah, for sure, love. for sure, for sure. Mulatto. I got to make up with her. Hey, but her name ain't. Hey, but you changed her name. It's man. not mulatto no more, huh? It's, it's lotto, lotto seven seven or something. It's just huh? lotto. It's just lotto. Yeah, lotto. lotto. Yeah. I'm fucking hey, with you, it. Whatever, hey, you know, whatever like, choice you make, baby. Whatever choice you make, I'm riding for it. You riding for it. All right. So I yeah, got a funny question for you. Yeah. Have you ever been catfish? Fucking right. Hey, but tell us what happened. Fucking right. Bro, this shit so crazy. All right, bro. This shit so wild. So you know Instagram, it'll take you to a whole nother world. Like, you feel me? These females will look like something, and they really be nothing when you get to them. So look, bro, this is the craziest shit ever. I pulled up to this whole, I guess she was in New Orleans for a little while. She said she was from Atlanta. Bitch. Bad on Instagram, you hear me? Straight bad, you feel me? So I pull up to this whole, she was at an Airbnb, so I pull up to her Airbnb. Man, I seen this whole standing outside and I drove past her. I call her phone, I'm like, I'm outside. She said, that's you in that, that, that silver truck? I said, yeah, where you at? I'm looking at this hoe. I said, yeah, where you at? I'm looking at her dead in the eyes. She said, I'm right here. Roll the window down. I look, I said, man, I know you lying. I looked at the ground one more time. I gave her that stupid look on my face, you hear me? I straight had to pull out. I'm like, I'm hurts. sorry, love. That hurt. That really hurt. You feel me? I didn't want to have to leave and treat you like some scumbag or nothing, but say, love, you, you can't. Say the scumbag. I feel like you can't do that. I feel like that should really be illegal. You're not supposed to. Everybody catfish in a way because nobody going to post no pictures that they don't like, you feel me? But I feel like it should be illegal for you to be looking like a straight dime out there and you know you a poop putt. That's down bad. That's disrespectful. That disrespectful, hey, but that showed me. Hey, but you gotta love all your fans. That t hey, bro, hold on. <laughs> that that showed me that I have to play my cards right. You feel me? I gotta play my cards different because you never know for real. You never know, so you gotta watch who you fuck with. Watch you. Just, just be hard to get in touch with. That's all I'm gonna tell you. Just be hard to get in touch with and fuck with who you know. That Instagram shit lame. Uh. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. And hey, so you know, like you know, growing in New Orleans. And just watching all these other artists grow 
from out of New Orleans. Yeah. Do you feel like artists in New Orleans, on like now, actually, on they support each other? A little bit now, bro. I ain't, gonna, I ain't even gonna cap to you. I feel like now that New Orleans is kind of building up and building a name for themselves, I feel like we're getting together now. Just a little bit, better than what it was, but we still got more growing to do, you feel me? But we definitely getting together now, for sure. That's facts. Okay. <laughs> so, being one music artist here in Miami, do you, hey, but do you go out and, um, do you go out and, um, you know, for us, as far as, like, meet other artists and just do, I'm like, networking in the studio and everything like that? Nah, I'm you know, definitely, working with them? especially being in a hit factory out here in, in, in Miami, it's like, yeah, you never know. But it's a popular studio. Right, right. It's probably the biggest studio in Miami. And the thing is, you never know who you're going to run into. I done ran into the baby. I ran into Gunner, Moneybag, yo, yo, Gotti. Like, I ran into everybody, Meg Thee Stallion, Sway Lee. You'll be recording in, in the A room, and they'll be in the C room right next to you. You feel me? Like, you never know who you'll run into in that bitch. And I feel like that's what's up. Like, because and then you'll, you'll realize how humble some of these people really are. You feel me? You could really go have a real conversation. Yeah, but they on grind mode, too, though. They on grind mode. They, they humans. You feel me? They working just like we working. So they, they respect your hustle. You feel me? As long as you respect what they got going on, they respect your hustle. And I, I feel like that's what's up because a lot of people look at superstars like aliens. Like they just, you know, it's just something that yeah, they like. But you got to move a certain way, too. You do have to move a certain way for sure because you never know. You feel me? It's a crazy world and you never know who's out to get you. You never know who's your fan and who's your enemy at times, you feel me? So it's about how you move, for sure. <laughs> okay. And so far as, like, to your fans, I'm like, tell them, I'm like, what's the best song, or, or, or tell them, I'm like, what's the best song um, that you have, I'm like, released so far? My favorite song, personally, that I release is probably, probably re re with Nino Calvin. But my favorite song coming is most definitely Moonwalk, and I think y'all should tune in when that comes out, because that's Are you going to moonwalk in the video? Nah, I, mean, I, ain't, I don't think I'm gonna. I might try, but I don't think I'm gonna be successful. But I might try if if I look like a fool. I'm gonna tell the cameraman take that on out for me. Take that out. Yeah, you gotta yeah, let the world know out. you know you was trying. If he could hit some crazy ass editing up and it looked like I was trying and I hit that bitch, then you know yeah, what he might do. You might, hey, we might put some fire under your feet, like you you know, even yeah, if you're doing see, it wrong. See, yeah, you still yeah, look like yeah, like yeah, right. yeah, like I'm hitting that bop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just might have the moonwalk for him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, being in the music industry for a while now, tell them, well, tell us what do you enjoy most about it, and tell us what do you actually, I'm mean, gonna hate about it. My favorite thing about working, um, my favorite thing about being in the music industry is working. You feel me? It's like, it's nothing like that grind. It's like refreshing when you know that you hustling so hard, and at the end of the day, it's really you know it's gonna pay off. You feel me? You know you're not doing this for no reason. You know you got a purpose. You know what you're here for. That's my favorite part about, you know, this whole industry shit. Like, I love the grind. I love, I love to see the cause and effects of shit, you feel me? I want to see where I'm at right now and where everything that I'm doing right now in this certain amount of time is going to take me in the next few years, you feel me, or the next few months. And the thing that I probably hate the most about this shit is, is a lot of the fake love, you feel me? I genuinely hate fake love because I feel like I keep it real with everybody that I ever met and everybody that I meet, you feel me? So when... What the fuck? <laughs> you got distracted? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like, yeah. What I was saying, brother? You telling everybody what you hate about it. Oh, yeah. About the fake love. I feel like, god damn, bro. That was just Maybe That's Miami that Miami vibe Miami right now. For you. But again, I hate the fake love. Because like I said, I keep it real with everybody that I ever meet. You feel me? And only a few people keep it real back. Because, you know, everybody going to show you a certain amount of love, even if they mean it or not, because they feel like you got something for them. So I personally don't respect that, you feel me? I feel like that's a lot of fake shit going on, and I try to avoid it. That's why, I, like I said, I stay inside, I go roll my weed, walk on the beach, and I be back inside by, you hear me, 12 o'clock. You hear me, time to eat that food before lunch, close up, and yeah. Yeah, bro, that fake shit, that shit bother me. So, you know, if we're gonna chime in on that, you know, about, you know, you know, hey, but I want you to um like explain to people um like far as hey, like far as hey, before as um like some examples um about fake love, you know. As like growing and growing and being like successful and just like how people be showing you um like all these little, you know, all this fake love and just and just showing love like man, oh but that's not real. Right. So 
Motherfuckers will call you and act like they checking up on you, but they calling you just to get the drop on you. They calling you just to see what you doing wrong. They calling you to see how they're doing better than you. They're not really calling you to check up on you, you feel me? I feel like that shit happens a lot. So I don't answer my phone no more because I don't got time for that shit. Like, don't call me to see where I'm at in life so you can try to figure out a way to pass me up. Because I'm down to help you, you feel me? I'm down to work with you and help you get on my level to help you get past me. I don't mind. But don't call me and try to better yourself by seeing what position I'm in. I feel like that shit fake, bro. Don't do that. I'm a real nigga, so just keep it real with me. You feel me? Okay. So, <laughs> so I'm like, what do you see your music career going I'm like three years from now. I feel like I'm gonna be taking off, bro. I feel like in three years, bro, I'm gonna be big. Cause like by that time, we're gonna know what genre I'm in, no matter what it is. You <laughs> feel me? And, and right now, like, I feel like it's yeah, all. But they gonna happening. put you in one, huh? Yeah, they're gonna put me in one for sure. But I feel like right now, it's already happening for itself. Like, I don't gotta do too much. You feel me? It's already. Everything is gonna be what it's supposed to be. Everything happens for a reason. You feel me? So all I gotta do is continue to keep doing what I'm doing, go crazy, work hard. And, and just show love to other people because I feel like that plays a big part. If you don't show love to nobody, nobody gonna show love back. So, yeah. That's facts. I know I'm gonna be up there though, bro, for sure. I don't know exactly where I'm gonna be because I might be past where I thought I was. You feel me? I just might be a little bit under where I thought I was, but I'm gonna be up there. You feel what I'm saying, bro? Ain't no going back. Yeah. Okay. Also, um, also um, tell us, I'm um, like, when did you first realize on um, like that you was growing one, on um, like fan base? When I did that song with J. D. Young, then I realized like Matter of fact, you were the first person I knew to do a song with J. D. Young. You probably told me I didn't even know who J. D. Young was until <laughs> you told me. Yeah, I was, shit, I really didn't know who J. D. Young was till till we linked up and did a song, you feel me? But when I realized that everybody I was in school when I did the song with him at the time, you feel me? And when I realized I was going back to school and everybody was, you know, bucked up to see me and be like, damn, bitch, you got a song with J. D. Young and bitch, you about to blow, you know. Like, I realized, like, bitch, I'm different, you feel me? Everything's different now, you feel me? I gotta start moving different. I really ain't even go back to school since that day, you feel me? Shit just been See, different. See, I remember you came since. on the road with us. I think you had, I think you had fucking half a uniform on. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I so did. You said, I ain't going back to school. I so didn't, bro. I just felt like there was, it wasn't, now, I don't encourage nobody to drop out of school. I really don't. But for me, personally, I felt like there wasn't enough in school for me at what I was doing, you feel me? Like, all, all that school was doing for me was passing time and keeping me out of a little bit of trouble, you feel me? But as far as everything else, the dreams that I was pursuing, school, for me, was in the way of it, you feel me? And it just was wasting a lot of time, and I feel like I could have had a lot more done by being in the studio instead of school, by shooting videos instead of being in school. Like I said, I don't encourage that for nobody. Moms, if y'all hearing that shit, I'm sorry. But that was, that was my route. That was the best route for me. Yeah, but the crazy part about just, like, it was just everything with you, like, you know, like most people ain't gonna know this, but I was actually the only person on like in the room with you when you actually got the call from Cash Money. Right. <laughs> nah, for real. And ever we since in that day, ever, exactly. And ever since that day, Cash Money has been watching me since that day. That was the day that Cash Money started watching me. So when I came to Miami and I chopped it up with Slim about getting signed, he was like, you know, I've been watching you for a long time. And I knew for a fact it was since that day, you feel me? Yeah. Yeah, but that was crazy. I was like, I was like, dang. Like, still the first time I heard, you know, if I heard their voice right. on the phone. <laughs> right, but you knew. I yeah. remember you were like, yeah, that's most definitely Slim. That's Slim for sure. I know Slim. That's well, Slim. he don't even sound like that. And I ain't even <laughs> on cap, bro. I'm a big, I'm, I'm really into cash money, you know, since a kid. I've been looking up the cash money, you feel me, wanting to be a part of the team for pretty much my whole life. I never knew how Slim sounded. Never knew how Slim yeah, sounded. I knew how he looked, but I never heard his voice before. So when I did get the call from Slim, I was I was like hesitant. I was like, it actually I don't shocked know. me because he, uh, because he the one called. I'm like, right, exactly, personally, you feel me? And I was like, bro, I didn't know if it was like somebody trying to, you know, imitate his voice, and it was like a prank or whatever it was. But then, obviously, it was real. But yeah, that's facts. I was there. I heard it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so you know, and so tell us. I'm like, what's next for you? Shit, right now, I'm working on my new project, but after Moonwalking comes out, this new album's gonna drop, and hopefully y'all love it so much to where, you know, it just goes to the next level with the shit, you feel me? Um, new music videos coming soon. Been working hard on that, a lot of new music videos. New interviews with my boy Nolazine TV, 
You feel me? We're gonna stay locked in, so we're gonna have more for y'all coming soon. Um, just, just, just be expecting a lot of work, man. Just a lot of work. Yeah. Facts. Okay. <laughs> and, and, and I'm also, with that being said, last but not least, tell everybody, I'm like, what can they find you on social media and just other music platforms? You can find me on everything at Only One Lacrosse. That's O N L Y, the number one L A C R O S S E. Only One Lacrosse. Yeah, you know All right, we done. Shit, shout out No Lazine. Oh, wait a minute. No Lazine, make them old scream. You understand me? You want a t shirt? You want to have a wife beater with a hole in it? You want to pair a short pair with six holes in it with all your coochie hanging out on the side? Holler at your people, baby. Ziggler Wiggy, you understand me? Lightning cock on this B-L-O-C-K, you understand me? A beautiful day.